The Sistine Chapel is one of the most important and recognized treasures of the Vatican, housing one of the most emblematic works of the Italian Renaissance, whose fame has spread throughout the world. Welcome to Culture in Shirt, where you will learn a little bit about everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos. Construction of the Sistine Chapel began in 1475 and was completed in 1481 under the pontificate of Pope Sixtus IV, hence its name. Originally, the chapel was designed to be the venue for the Papal Mass and to host important religious ceremonies. The chapel was designed by the architect Baccio Pontelli and the Renaissance painter Sandro Botticelli also contributed to its decoration. However, it is especially known for the frescoes by the Renaissance painter Michelangelo Buonarroti. Frescoes by Michelangelo The most famous work in the Sistine Chapel are the frescoes by Michelangelo on the ceiling and on the altar. This work was commissioned to the artist by Pope Julius II. The ceiling, painted between 1508 and 1512, features the famous creation of Adam scene in which the fingers of God and Adam almost touch. The altar shows the Last Judgment, a monumental composition that covers the entire wall of the altar and represents the resurrection of the dead and the final destination of souls. The main division of the ceiling is made up of nine panels that represent scenes from the book of Genesis. The choice of the theological theme establishes a relationship between the beginnings of human history and the coming of Jesus Christ, even though he is not present in the pictorial composition of the ceiling. The fourth panel on the ceiling is dedicated to the creation of Adam and is one of the most widespread and recognized images worldwide. Here Adam lies languidly reclining, as if lacking in energy, forcing God to make the last effort to touch Adam's fingers and give him a spark of life. The Final Judgment Michael Angelo returned to the Sistine Chapel more than 20 years later to execute the fresco The Last Judgment between 1536 and 1541, which is located on the altar wall. This work was entrusted to Michelangelo by Pope Clement VII. Contrasting with the vitality, rhythm, and radiant energy of the ceiling frescoes, the representation of the Last Judgment is somber and, at the same time, a composition of bodies without real structure. In total, 390 bodies that were originally naked are represented, including the Virgin Mary. The composition is dominated by the central figure of an implacable and fearsome Judge Christ. In the background the sky is torn and in the lower part the angels play trumpets announcing the final judgment. Myths and Theories One of the best known myths is the one that affirms that Michelangelo included the faces of his critics and enemies in the condemned figures in the Last Judgment fresco. It is said that, in response to the criticism he received for his work in the Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo decided to take revenge by portraying those who had offended him as sinners in the fresco. However, this theory lacks solid evidence and there is no definitive confirmation that Michelangelo carried out this artistic revenge. Another myth related to the chapel is that Michelangelo painted the masterpiece of the Sistine Chapel, the ceiling, standing up instead of using scaffolding. This story originated due to the impressive quality and detail of the figures and the difficulty of the task. However, the reality is that Michelangelo did use scaffolding, known as a pontigio, to paint the ceiling. The scaffold was specifically designed to allow him to work in an upright position, as the artist preferred this position while he painted. These myths and legends have contributed to the fascination and mystery surrounding the Sistine Chapel. Although some of them are widely known and have been passed down over the years, it is important to remember that they are not supported by solid evidence. The Sistine Chapel is visited by millions of people each year and is considered one of the greatest exponents of Renaissance article. It is used for the election of the Pope in the conclave and has also been the scene of important historical events. In addition, due to the fame and prestige of its frescoes, the chapel has undergone restoration and conservation over the years. Have you had the opportunity to visit this great place? What did you think? I read your opinions in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video and remember to subscribe for more shirt culture videos.